welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of meme tier Monday. We got four sweet donation decks here for this meme tier day before our new expansion comes out on Wednesday. We're going to be starting with Jarvan Marauders. This is going to be a deck with a uh, very high curve. It's going to be very powerful. We got lots of good units. And we're going to have Legion Marauder, Strength in Numbers. And Strength in Number is an 8-mana spell. And so we're going to have expensive spells to go with the Mage Seeker. So we're going to be putting Mage Seekers in our Marauder deck. we got Mage Seeker Persuader, Mage Seeker Inciter. As far as other 6-plus um, cost spells for the Mage Seekers, we're going to have Remembrance and Reckoning. Remembrance is probably one of, going to be one of the, like, the most important cards to have in our opening hand. Because we're not doing very much early. Um, we have... No one mana cards. Uh, as far as two mana cards go, obviously single combat doesn't do anything on turn two. Black Crow Spy is a card we want to wait till later, right? We want to have our reputation first for Black Crow Spy. And then Mage Seeker Persuader is just a generic 3-2 before you have your six plus cost card. So really on turn three, ideally, we'll be casting Remembrance. Because then that will like hopefully get us a five uh, plus power unit to be able to help turn on reputation. It will be a six cost card for mage, the mage seekers, and it'll kind of help us out quite a bit. Um, but yeah, we got a powerful top end. We got you know two six drops with Scytheria and Jarvan, both very good cards. Two five drops with Garen and Screeching Dragon, again very good cards. Um, we'll have the mage, the sorry, the Vanguard Sergeant making the four Demacias for the late game. And, of course, we have the Strength in Numbers coming in. So very, very powerful in the late game. We'll have Reckoning in here to help us catch up against decks with a bunch of smaller units trying to go wide. Hopefully Reckoning does some work there. And that's going to be about it. So here we go. It's Meme Tier Day. We're going to be just be playing in normal, having some fun. Um, hopefully we get to stabilize, survive, get to that late game. Here we go. All right, Thresh, Nasus. So even though it's normal, looks like we're still playing against the number one deck right now. We got a Remembrance, which is good. So I'm going to keep all of this. So we're going to have turn three Remembrance, turn four Inciter, turn five Screeching Dragon. That's going to be the plan. Now we also have the Persuader that we could, you know, you know okay, so that yeah, with double Persuader, we could go like double Persuader on turn four if we want instead of Inciter. I'm going to say just by keeping this, we're going to have more options. All right, remember it's time. Perfect. Basically, vanilla Radiant Guardian that's a 4 or 5, that's the nightmare. Anything else is good. We just don't want that. So my opponent takes a turn off of putting new things out there. One for reputation. Mages can't hide from me. That's a lot of mana they waste. Yeah, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take them wasting five mana instead of attacking and then letting them develop post-combat, even though we would have been able to deal a decent amount of damage to them. I just think that's the thing to do.
Captain Orika. That can take a Nasus later. Black Spear being great again. So if I could have um, played like you know something first, I would have done that and then you know pass them, try to get them to play like a Nasus first before I, I Jarvan, but couldn't really do that. If they would have had another Black Spear, they would have just played it last turn. I'm not really expecting another Black Spear. And I could draw two cards right now, but there's not really a reason. I'll just save this three spell mana, okay? Because I say maybe we draw like a one of our more expensive spells that then I'd want to play. Observe the price of ambition. Okay, that single combat can be useful. Any last words? Fall to pieces. They will bear you to death. I own you. It's exact copy, so is it going to be... Is it going to have the minus one, minus zero, and vulnerable? Chat saying yes, it's gonna have the minus one, minus zero, and vulnerable, most likely. I kind of feel like maybe it won't. Could be silly to be thinking it won't, but I kind of feel like maybe it won't. Don't believe everything you hear. Haha, -ha, it doesn't. How about that? Voices carry. Okay, so Marauder or Sergeant? I guess it's the Marauder. Because I, I don't think I'm going to be playing the four Demacia before attacking. I'll just open attack. Haha! -ha. How about that? We got some Jarvins! And Marauder. Did you see what attack for lethal? A Marauder and Jarvins. What's our deck name? Jarvin Marauders. That's right. And Ash LeBlanc. So what chat's kind of determined here is that since, you know, how it does say, Black Rose Pie does say exact copy, but since, um, you know, exact copy, but since the Jarvan died, then it doesn't really know exact what the exact copy was anymore, and so it just makes a new Jarvan. Uh, I'm going to just keep this hand, I think. No, Sithra is gone. What are we doing? Okay. Yeah, Black Rose Spy was pretty awesome. Two mana Jarvans, which basically ended up just being two mana six fours. Anything to play this turn. Voices carry. For glory. You are mine. Well. It may have another frostbite card, but I guess I'll like, you know, a, uh, a brittle steel or whatever, but yeah, okay. So, got the flash freeze out of their hand for the single combat. I was going to waste that spell mana anyway. I guess it keeps their 3 1 alive, though. Yeah, 
Yeah, we play big units, they play Frostbites. That's not a good combination. That was good for us. We had one card take out two of theirs plus give me two five one, so that's pretty good. So those will attack and be five fours when they attack. Let's play Scythria as a six six to disincentivize them from attacking. And then I attack and put in Jarvan, but Jarvan just challenges the Glory Seeker. Look what I found. Face me. Okay, so I think they have a Brittle Steel. Come on, boys. Yeah, they have a Brittle Steel. So I guess they can Brittle Steel <coughs> Scythria. Called it. They have Brittle Steel. Top end of our deck is really powerful if, if we don't play against people that kill us right away. All right, Black Rose Spy turned on. My aim is true. So this is not a good trade for me. Away with you. Yeah, Jarvan. All right, leveled up Jarvin. Yeah, Black Rose Spy has looked amazing. And the last few times I've played Black Rose Spy has looked amazing. This is no exception. But yeah, Black Rose Spy into, you know, into the Cataclysm. Not a bad line. Okay, wait. I guess I guess it's just a simple attack. Alright, so we know we know one card in hand is the okay, I was gonna say we know the Ash Champion spell is one of the like that's the card they just drew. So they'd only have one other card in their hand. Yo, yeah, and that's that slow speed card. Ooh, Planks Puff Caps. Timo Sege. Let's try to go big and aggro them out. This could definitely be pretty bad, though, if they have, like, turn one Teemo, and then if they just Frostbite a bunch, which their deck does, and they go their Foundry, right? Like, this this may be a pretty tough matchup to win. I think we just go turn three. Yeah, I think we just play that on turn three and see what's up after that. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, this game's over. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's too bad. Whoa, Janky with the raid. Welcome, y'all. We're it's meme tier day. We're playing some really fun viewer submitted donation decks here. We got Jarvan Marauders is our first one. We're currently two and zero, even though we looks like we're gonna be two and one with the Teemo. And then we're gonna have Iceborne Spiders, a Turbo Go Hard, and a Sharima Feel the Rush deck. After that, that's the schedule for today. So we're playing five games with each deck. Uh, they are Teemo Sejuani. So go ahead and buckle in, get get your popcorn. We're going to have a fun stream today. Mm, that's the one card we don't want to hit. Because it, it only hits for four. We You know, with our reputation and everything, we want things to hit for five. But yeah, this game's already over. We don't play Sharp Sight. So, we're not going to be able to block that. Going to hopefully draw a challenger or a single combat. There's the challenger. So, we got to try. Even though, like, their whole deck is, you know, troll chants and brill steals and all that kind of stuff. But we got to try. Strike for you can't outrun justice. Yeah, we hit Radiant Guardian. The only, the only one we can't hit. Oh, an auspicious season. So, Officer, unfortunately, they got this game. Oh, single combat. Wow, that actually worked out. Well, good news, we killed Teemo. Bad news, they have played a whole bunch of spells. they played three spells, I think, since Starless Seer. So some unit gets the plus three, plus three. If it's another Teemo, that would be bad. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. All right, so a Peddler gets that. Let's go with the Garen. for those who cannot. Lead our charge. Demacia, now and forever. Put on me mask, secure me tail, stop the day. You have no alibi. I <laughs> He played Timo Sajwani this morning. Had a bunch of spells with two ballistic bots and a starless seer on board and got a 14 14 peddler. Very nice. Okay, I'll take that. Because that's us killing that puff cat peddler. Peddler is super, super scary. I'm surprised they didn't play these mushroom clouds with that peddler in play. I think that was a mistake by them. Yeah, Sejuani's pretty good. Sejuani, unfortunately, probably kills me. What do we got here? The main problem, of course, is the frostbite all enemies every single round. So we're going to. Um, so I'm playing the Legion Marauders because they can attack and, and gain power again after being frostbitten. Oh no, we weren't frostbitten. Well, I guess that means maybe we won't be frostbitten. Discipline and steel. Maybe that's a good thing. Oh, there was a little fella asking for me. Magic has no place here. Sejuani's definitely very meta. This this deck is very meta these days. You will be 
Okay, so Hearthguard blocks 4-4. Four, four. Their Peddler blocks my 3-3. Three, three. Sejuani can block 6-5. But then they just had to throw a 2-3 in front, so then they keep they keep three things alive. I have three things die. It's probably not worth. For all of us. If we we're gonna have four things die, and then we played four and then we play Remembrance, maybe, or if you know I'd still have three mana and be able to play Remembrance, maybe. Okay, that's not so bad. I assume they're gonna attack. I guess maybe they don't attack. Because... I would want to play Scythria plus Remembrance here. That'd be if they attack. If they don't attack, then I don't have anything dies, then I wouldn't be able to play Remembrance. Okay, they don't attack. Maybe still I should be playing Scythria. Five puff caps on that one card. It's unnecessary. Courage, soldier. Across the seas and into battle. All right, I guess Sejuani did kill us. Alright, two and one. Good hand opponent. Okay, another Sejuani deck, this one with Gangplank. This one not as scary, honestly, as the... Like, so this one's a lot more aggressive, right? But this one's easier to stabilize against. The other one is is much more difficult to stabilize against and much more difficult to beat with slow... Yeah, you know, like, slow things that hit hard. That's just not the... That's not how you beat the deck with all the Frostbite and Puff Caps. And with Sejuani, like... So that was a that was a very bad matchup for us. This one we could at least envision ourselves stabilizing against and pulling ahead. It's possible. May not happen, but it's possible. So love seeing them taking the first couple of turns off. Probably playing a monkey idol here. Let's have some fun. What do we got here? Our lack of spells has really shown the last two games. Look what I found. Come on, boys. Is nothing for justice for Demacia, born for conquest. I think that's what that's like the one thing our deck needs is just some more 
a few more combat spells, a few less four, five, six mana units, probably. Yeah, Sejuani... Sejuani is destroying our meme tier Monday. Because we... Just frostbite. We're just playing big things with no no spells. Just big... Vanilla dumb things. We're just getting wrecked. Fight like the animal you are. Yeah, so that's... We need, like, some sharp sights in here. Or maybe even like a concerted strike or two. Just a few a few more spells. There's plenty of killing there. Well, that's alright. It's meme tier day or deck's not perfect. Let's get to it. Alright, so they're at three out of five for such one. Our Jarvan didn't die, so it actually did. <laughs> Copy. I'm so sorry. I was so I was so used to like you know how our Jarvan would be dead, and then we make the six forward barrier still. I shouldn't have copied that because like okay, I was really worried about Mega Rain, honestly. Double warning shot. All right, so we found our weakness, Sejuani. Remember, the things deal double, double damage. That does two to me. Now this this thing is attacking for twelve, so it still did a five overwhelm. Okay, Captain Arika. That is kind of what we needed against the Sejuani, but they can play a new Sejuani. Do I play this next turn? This Captain Arika? No, I guess I probably got to play it this turn and hope they don't have another Sejuani. One heart can shake the fate of a nation. We have to ca we have to capture Sejuani. Like yeah, this are there things do double damage to me, but if they have anything that does damage to me, we lose anyway. And which obviously they do because they have that gangplank, they have that other gangplank. So another gangplank kills us. Okay, not it's not Sejuani. We got, we got a real good chance here. There's one card that we couldn't defeat. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're going to have our turn three Remembrance. 
Then we can go Persuader on four, and the Persuader could kill a Maokai. I'd like to find, like, another... Like, something else to be able to play before Persuader. Like, I don't know, I'd like them to have priority, and they play Maokai, and then I play Persuader and kill the Maokai. I, I don't know the, the question there, Nasher. I'm not sure. Okay, so we got our turn three Remembrance. This is going to be a really long game. I, I think that we're playing against a newer opponent. Our opponent's reading the cards and everything, I think. Mages can't hide from me. So I was talking about Maokai earlier, of like wanting to play my 4-3 challenger against Maokai. Then I realized, if we look at the champion list over here, there's not too many Maokais to be found. Not too many Maokais to be found. Alright, so we did survive two attacks. That does make us pretty vulnerable to Withering Whale, but we're two out of four for leveling up Jarvan now. And we got one out of four for Reputation. Zero mana Sea Scarab. Zero mana sea scarab. I really hope they don't have withering whale. Cause if not, they're kind of dead. Of course, we're going to open an attack and put Jarvan into play. I guess I could just challenge, like, here. Make that attack a little bit better. It's easier for that thing to stay alive. No, I guess that thing's about to be... All they have to play is a Jettison, and then that thing's a 6-6. Six, six. Let's, let's try to kill that thing. Yeah, I really hope they don't have Whale. Really hope they don't have Whale. Worst case scenario is Whale plus Jettison. That's, that's the nightmare. Hopefully it's just something else. Maybe it's Atrocity. But no, they're playing two cards. Vile Feast and... Something else. Okay, just a feast. The numbers. So they played two lower the depths. Now Nautilus says they cost four less. They're going to cost six less. They get to just play every single, um, every single sea monster they have. So we're we're honestly probably dead right here because we know they have a good amount of sea monsters because the lure of the depths. 
So this is probably lethal. Yeah, like this is probably lethal. Let's see, I guess I could play... I play two, three mana units. That was about as good as we could hope for, for as far as what they had, but obviously we're still dead. Like I said, it was going to be lethal. So we tried there with that last, like, open attack. Uh, tried, you know, attacking and killing them, but wasn't quite able to do it with all of our one health things. They had the Vile Feast. So that's, that's uh, you know, even that last game that shows that we, I, I would, I think that we had some good stuff here. I was, again, very impressed with Black Rose Spy. And, you know, we had some good top top end and everything, but we, we have to play some cheaper spells. Like, that's, um, that was just, like, the one thing that I uh, got to have. Like, you know, like, we, okay, when you played Demacia, you had to play Sharp Sight. I think that was kind of the lesson learned here. I would definitely recommend playing some Sharp Sights and then even something like a, like a Ranger's Resolve that uh, whenever we have, like, our lots of things that are attacking, give them all tough. Um, help out combat in a lot of different scenarios. I think that could be a useful card. And because you don't need to trim too much of the top end, right? Like Scythria was cool. We could play like two Scythrias. Screeching Dragon, pretty cool. You could play two of them. You know, you just don't necessarily need like three of of all of these. Now, same thing, Mage Seeker Insider, kind of cool. We could play two of them. Don't necessarily need a third. Because, um, you know, as we saw like with those games, when, you're, when your hand is only like Mage Seeker Insiders and Screeching Dragons and Scythrias, um, you know, the you're going to have a bad time, <laughs> right? So, like, you just need, like, two of each one. That's perfectly fine. And so kind of, like, just trimming a little bit on each of those, like, that can fit in your single combats just like that. And now all, all you got to do is find room for a Ranger's Resolve, which maybe maybe you don't need the Ranger's Resolve. That's fine if you don't want it. Um, but, you know, we got to put the, the Sharp Sights in there. Um, oh, right, I wrote the wrong record, sorry. So we're two and three. Um, yeah, Reckoning didn't didn't show up very well in those games. It, it's for some different matchups, right? Like Reckoning is not going to be good against Sejuani or Nautilus, um, but it it can be useful in other matchups. I don't mind playing two Reckonings. I think that's that's perfectly fine. Um, I don't mind that. Uh, the Vanguard Sergeant or yeah, it'd probably be like the Vanguard Sergeant to maybe trim one of those. Or, or maybe you just don't play the Rangers Resolve. But at least you got to get the Sharp Sights in here. So at least, at the very least, I think that's what we would do is just, just trim a Scythria, a Screeching Dragon, a Wisp, and a uh, Mage Seeker Insider and get those Sharp Sights in here. I think that's a requirement. I guess you could you could maybe even just play the other Insider and trim a Sergeant. So what I'm worried about is like being able to play something on turn three. But we have Remembrance, of course, for three, and then we have Legion Marauder for three. So that's that's six cards for three. So we, we maybe don't need nine cards for turn three. So yeah, maybe we just go two Vanguard Sergeants. Um, yeah, I could see doing that. And then I guess we could still trim that, and that that's where our, our Ranger's Resolve could come in. Okay, but some good stuff. Good stuff. I could see this even being a Transfusion deck, playing one of those, or playing a Cataclysm, or a Prismatic Barrier, or Repost. You know, like, I think we just need another combat spell, a Whirling Death, some other combat spell to go to go along with these. And so I'm just putting Ranger's Resolve in because it's cheap, but I could see, like, any of those other cards working out well also. All right, but that's going to be Jarvan Marauders. Pretty cool deck. We started off well. Um... And then, you know, we kind of saw the, saw the holes in the deck those last three games, how we just had a little too many high-cost units and, uh, you know, just play some Sharp Sights, right? Sharp Sights can can, uh, can make a big difference. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of Jarvan plus Marauders. Hopefully y'all enjoyed Hopefully y'all uh, enjoyed Black Rose Spy, getting a lot of work in there, um, and everything else. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Jarvan Marauders, and I will see you for the next video.